In this example we will carry out a techno-economical calculation. This analysis is an economic assessment of proposed network expansion projects, taking into account both the expected economic benefits and the associated development costs. Activate the associated study case. For this demonstration, the geographic map has been deactivated. Two network variations will be compared, one a relatively cheap network expansion, and the other a more expensive option. Looking in more detail at the cheap variation, you can see that it includes just one expansion stage, which has an activation date in January 2014. Looking at the economical data page. Ensure that your data is configured in the same way. Now moving to the expensive option, you can see that this also includes just one expansion stage. Again the activation time is 2014. And looking at the economical data page, ensure that your expansion stage contains the same data. We will now activate the cheap variation. You will notice that the current study time is set to 2012. This is before the activation time of the expansion stage, and therefore this stage has not been activated yet. To activate the expansion stage, change the study time. You will see a line appear in the overview diagram. We will now carry out a techno-economical calculation taking account of the new expansion. Select the additional functions toolbox and choose the icon techno-economical calculation. Set the command to calculate once per year with the start date of 2012 and an end date of 2017. On the costs page, ensure that the losses option is checked and enter costs of losses as shown. Enable the option Optimize tie open points. Executing the calculation. You can find the results in the output window. You can see the NPV, net present values, have various costs associated with the calculation. We will now use a DPL script called Efficiency Ratio Calculation. This DPL script will calculate the benefits due to grid extension with respect to the investment costs. Right-click on the variation, and select Execute Script. Efficiency Ratio Calculation should be in the list. Select OK. Configure the input parameters as shown, and select Execute. Again. The results are shown in the output window. Here, you can see the efficiency ratio, which expresses the benefits due to the grid extension as a percentage of the investment costs. Now we will carry out the same analysis, using the expensive option. Deactivate the cheap variation and activate the expensive one. You can see that a different line is added to the diagram. Run the techno-economical calculation again. And you can see the new set of results in the output window. The total NPV has increased. Rerun the DPL script for comparison. You can see that the efficiency ratio is lower in this case. 